suppose the fiddle was one of the last instruments I took up as a youngster. Um, I didn't take it up till I was about 12. I think I played the guitar and the piano and the flute before that. Um, and my sister, I had a sister who was a year younger than me and she passed away when she was um, 10. So she took up the, the fiddle when she was about seven or eight and I took up the, um, the guitar at the same time. So she taught me how to play the fiddle actually at the start and then I sort of got into it and somebody brought me along uh, to a festival and I was like, Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is what I want to do. <laughs> my brother started playing years before me and gave it up. And, uh, the, I think there was a, a woman giving lessons in, prim in the primary school and she, this particular woman used to go around all the schools and, and they just happened. I knew there was a fiddle in the house so I took it up and summertime came then and summer holidays so there was no lessons but I found out that my uncle played, so um, he was just about a hundred yards from my house, so I was spending every evening for two or three hours, for ne nearly every evening for two or three hours down at him, and just grew from there. Um, for me anyway, I think it's nice that, that the Johnny Gall fiddle music has kept going, you know, it's kept, um, I suppose infrastructure has played a part in it not I suppose the regional style kind of staying in a in a way that it is. Um, so I'd like to see, I'd love to see that kind of continued, and the, especially the Glen Fiddle Week and you know different weeks that are specifically focused on teaching Donegal music. I love you know I love participating in those and helping the youngsters. Well, even the, for them to see the festival kind of side of things and um, enjoying themselves because that's really what it's all about at the end of the day and all the friendships and playing the music together and. Um, yeah, that's once they see that side of things, I think that kind of eggs them on to keep it going and realise it's not a chore that you have to, you know, practice your fiddle every week. It's not about that, it's about, you know, fun. having fun. <laughs> <laughs> For me, anyway, Galway Arts Festival is the biggest arts festival in Ireland. Um, it has a, a huge amount of kudos with it, so like, we're absolutely delighted to be playing here. Yeah. It's, um, and Galway audiences are always receptive. This, there's such um, a strong appreciation and I suppose understanding of of trad music in in Galway. So um, it's great to play somewhere where you you know that the music's understood. It's great to hear now. We had a nice crowd here. It was a lovely atmosphere and recept like Tara said, a good receptive crowd. Galway's great to go there. I always liked playing here. Um, I think it's definitely definitely important to have the trad 